to the lift and actually grind and pivot on the lift. And you have to understand that what they were doing on skateboards, it just had never been done anywhere else before. There was just no such thing. In a covert convergence, skaters would come from miles around to savor the fleeting, illicit thrills of skateboarding inside a recently discovered backyard pool. Once we found a couple good spots, we knew that there was more of them available, and we just kept scouring the neighborhood. We did extensive search and looking for backyard pool. We would drive up and down the alleys in the, in the valley, standing on the roofs of the cars. Jay got on the top of my car, and we're driving down alley after alley in Beverly Hills, and Jay is like on the top of my car going, no, no, wait, wait, you know. We'd go up and down the alleys on our bicycles, and jump up and look over the fences and go up and down canyons and take vantage points and we had binoculars. We went to places where the pool was completely filled in with dirt. We dug out an entire swimming pool so that we could skate it. We would find some that were full of water, but they had to be emptied one way or another. I mean, they just had to be, the water had to go and they had to be ridden, man. You know what I mean? At one point, we were, we were so gorilla about it, we had electric pool pumps, gasoline-operated pool pumps, hundreds of yards of uh, drainage hose, uh, rooms, everything you needed. There's plenty of times we found pools and we'd throw the pump in there, throw a wire over a wall, find a live socket, didn't know the house, didn't know any of the neighbors, any of the people, water would be running out. And we drain a 30,000-gallon swimming pool in less than four hours. For sale that had a pool. Nine times out of ten it was drained or maybe it had two feet of water and it would drain the rest out and we'd skate until we tops came and then we'd split. The tension was really high and you had to do what you had to do here and now and it, it, it didn't come later. When you have an empty swimming pool you know it might only be open for a day or a day and a half and that's it. You gotta skate it for as long as you can. You had to almost like time yourself to be in there trying to get there early in the you morning. Got you got get out of there before the cops came, you know. It was totally just illegal barging sessions. And as soon as we heard either sirens, screeching tires, someone would yell the magic words, bail, and we were out of there. You could definitely get arrested. I mean, you could probably get charged a lot of money because uh, the space at the pools weren't the same after we got done with them. My dad had a kill me, though. We had a kill me, you had to say that kind of way. Part of it was uh, the thrill of uh, knowing that the police could come any time. We got caught skating in the canyon pool, and I was hiding up in the tree looking down, and there was cops below me looking for us. And I was afraid I was going to drop my skateboard and nail them in the head, and then I thought, God, I'm going to be arrested for, you know, assault and battery. If we got caught at a location, we'd go back the next day, and we'd figure out how to not get caught that way. So if they came in the front, we'd post a lookout in the front. They came, they came in through the back, we'd post a look out in front of the back, we go through the side yard. You know? You gotta understand, man, this is this is concrete warfare we're talking about. This is uh, this is, you know, you might find a pool and it might just be here today, maybe gone tomorrow. If you're gonna ride it, you better get on that shit. I'll see you later.